Hey, what's up? I'm Gabrielle Marie. If you haven't already, take a second to check out my digital resources I have posted for you guys. It'll help you make awesome looking professional graphics, as well as some planning tools to help you grow on YouTube in 2020. Check them out. The link is in the description. All right, guys, this video is going to teach you how to edit an iMovie. Whether you're a beginner or an expert in iMovie, you're going to find some tips here that are helpful. First things first is iMovie comes for free on any Apple product. They do have a mobile version if you have an Apple iPhone, or if you have a MacBook or an iMac, you're going to get the full version of iMovie on there. I'm going to be using the free version on my iMac. Let's go over a little bit of the orientation and then I'll dive into kind of how to get started. So this is what you're going to see when you first open iMovie. You're going to have your project media area over here. This is where you can organize your projects and your movies and kind of store all of the clips that you've used in past projects here. Up here, you're going to have a couple tools, including your media, audio, titles, backgrounds and transitions, which helps you to build a final product. Over here is going to be your sample of the actual video that you are in the middle of editing. And then over here are kind of a little bit more of an advanced tools, which I'll go into later. Your play and rewind buttons. And then this button here allows you to zoom into a clip. Area down here is going to be where your clips are and what you're going to string together to create a final product. So let me show you how to actually import into iMovie. So to do that, you can go to File and Import Media, and you'll be able to import anything from your desktop or anywhere on your computer. Another thing that I like to do is, I find it a little bit easier, is to go to your finder, find your clip, and then all you have to do is drag it into your timeline, and you have it there. So I'm gonna click my intro, and I'm gonna drag it to the front. As you can see, it's super zoomed in. So you just drag this over so that you can have a little bit of a better idea of everything here. Next, what you want to do is go ahead and import any sort of clips. So these are some clips that I have from when I went to Hawaii. So I'm just going to import a few of them. Next, what you can do is I like to kind of skim over and then look at the box on the right and kind of get an idea for the feel of it. So... What I notice is that this step of the pineapple process actually needs to go to the right of this clip. So all you have to do is select it. You'll know that it's selected when you see this yellow selection around it. Drag it over. And there you go. Now it's in the correct form. So say you just want this part here and then you want to cut off the rest of it. So what you do is you click, you click on the um, clip so that it's highlighted and you see this vertical line on the bottom here, that's where it's gonna actually cut. So you can click Command and then B, and then it's gonna split the clip into two. So now I have a clip on the right and a clip on the left. So then I just wanted to delete this, so I'm gonna select it, and then I'm gonna click the Backspace or the Delete button on my keyboard. So now I've deleted that area that I didn't want. Go ahead and do the same thing for the rest of these. So this one I kinda pan over. Maybe you wanna have that go a little bit faster. You can select it and come to this tool over here. It's called speed. You can change the speed to slow or fast, but we're gonna to go to fast. And you can go two times, four times, eight times, or 20 times. I'm gonna be doing twice. So now when I play it, it's a faster pan. Okay, so that's kind of how you use that. Next, what you can do is you can add transitions between these clips. So say you want this to be a little bit more of a smoother transition instead of just an abrupt jump. You can go up here to the transitions that iMovie provides. You can preview it here. So I'm gonna use the wipe right between my intro and my first clip, and then wipe up, wipe left. So now you're going to play it, and you can see the transitions in action here. Now say you wanted to add a title. So instead of it jumping from my intro to a clip, maybe I want to tell people that, hey, this is my trip to Hawaii. You can use the titles that are available here in iMovie. They have a bunch of different options. They also have a bunch of different backgrounds that you can start off with. So you can choose one of these backgrounds. They have animated ones, and they also have solids here. What I like to do is, if you're a beginner, go ahead and use one of these. But if you're not, what you can do is you can actually import a background for your title. So I'm gonna go ahead into Finder. A, let's do a blue. 
Okay, so I have my blue title here. And what it has it doing is it has it zooming in. But if you didn't want that, you can go up here to the crop tool and click on crop to fill and click the check mark. And so now it's a solid background. We're going to go to titles and you can choose any of these titles here. Some of them are animated, some of them aren't. It's called centered. You can grab that and place it on top of your clip. Now, as you can see, the title goes longer than the actual area that I want it to. You can hover over the longest part of it and then trim it. Okay, and there you go. Now to edit the actual title, we're gonna go here to the text and we can change this. So now we have our title, Hawaii Vlog. Okay, so say that you didn't really like any of the titles that are available in iMovie, a quick hack to actually create your own is to use a website called iPicky.com and then you're going to create a design. You're going to go to new and you're going to change this to 1280 by 720 and make sure you click transparent. Then you can go to the text tool and type your text. Hawaii vlog and I'm going to use lobster, make it bigger and then you can actually get a little bit more creative here because you can do cool different effects, drop shadows and the great part is, is because it's kind of hard to add multiple overlays in iMovie, you can actually add your overlays in here. You can go ahead and find one here. You'll know it's transparent if this part here is not white but checkered. Now some of them trick you and you see how I, when I drag this, you can still see the checkered. That means it's not truly transparent and you can add as many as you want to spice it up. And that's why it's kind of a quick little hack. You can save it and you want to make sure you save it as a PNG. Save that. Now when you go into iMovie, you can actually import that. So instead of having a very basic text here, we're going to delete that out, go to our finder, and find our Hawaii title, and then drag it on top and fit it. So now we have a really cool text that actually zooms in just by the nature of iMovie. But if you didn't want it to zoom in, click on it, go to the crop tool, and then click fit. Check mark. So now you have a really cool title. Very cool. Okay, another kind of hack or a more advanced item that you can do is actually adding like a social media overlay or any sort of PNG overlay. I have a social media overlay that I wanted to show you. So here I had created my Instagram so that when people watch my video, they can check it out. So you just go ahead and drag it on top of whatever you want. And then if you want it to be longer, all you have to do is drag it out and then because it's so, so big, you can actually resize it. So crop it and click fit, okay? So to be able to resize this, you wanna go here to the style, and then instead of cutaway, you wanna do a picture in picture, and then you're gonna be able to move it wherever you want it. So I'm gonna do like the top left-hand corner, and then when you play it, you'll be able to see it. And now it comes up stays for a few clips and then fades back out the problem with iMovie is that you can only have one overlay at a time but in order to kind of hack the system what you can actually do is create small little projects so say that you wanted this part here and then you wanted to do another overlay on top like maybe a picture of a pineapple or something what you could actually do is select all of these go to edit and copy you want to go up here and click on projects and then you can click create new movie and then you can go ahead and paste all that we copied so we copied this and so now we have this and so say if you wanted to put another overlay on top iMovie won't let you do that without deleting this so you can export this by going to file and share and you're going to share this as a file okay here's all the settings here click next and we're going to save that as we'll say clip one and we're going to save this to my desktop so now what iMovie is going to do and you can see the progress here once the circle is filled up it means it has fully exported we're going to go back to our project 
click OK, and we're going to click on our original project. And now we're going to delete this because we have a new clip that is all of it together. So we're going to delete that. And now our share is successful. So we're going to show it. And then we have it here. Then you can import this back in. And so now when we play it, it still has that overlay, but you actually have the ability to add an additional. So here's our pineapple. And now we're able to add that in. Again, go to picture in picture. Oh, and we also want to make sure that we click fit. Picture in picture is, set, is on. And then you can change it and arrange it. So now we have the multiple overlays. Now I want to show you how to actually animate anything on iMovie. So we have our pineapple here and say I wanted it to kind of jiggle and animate. To do that, you're going to click on the pineapple and you're going to make sure you have this video overlay settings selected. You want to make sure that whatever you're editing is in picture in picture or else it's not going to work. And you're going to kind of bring your playhead to the beginning of your pineapple or the beginning of where the pineapple starts. So maybe something around here. And then when you're here, you're going to see this little plus button, which is add a new keyframe. So you're going to add a keyframe. You're going to press the space bar on your key on your keypad, play it a little bit, pause it, and then you're able to kind of move it around and it automatically will add another keyframe. So let's keep doing this. When we play it, our pineapple will be kind of jiggling and animating the way that we did it. And so say that we wanted to animate our title, we could do it the exact same way. Okay, so you would click on it, go here, okay, and instead of cutaway, we're going to do picture in picture. We're going to increase the size of this. And then you can keyframe it from the beginning. So click on it here, plus play. You can have it go up. You can have it go down. And then back to the center. So now when we play it, it'll be animated. Another thing that you can do in iMovie is called Ken Burns. And what this allows you to do is kind of pan across the screen as well as zoom in. So for this one here, I'm going to show you here, we're going to start you're going to go to the cropping tool and you're going to click Ken Burns. The first one is where it's starting and then the second one is where it's ending. So if you wanted it to zoom in on the pineapples, you can go ahead and do that. Click plus and now when you play it, you'll notice that it zooms in on those pineapples. The last thing that I wanted to mention in this video is how to do a voiceover. So you noticed in the intro that I had a audio clip here that I had recorded. I want to show you guys how I do that. So you're going to click on wherever you want to start your voiceover. You're going to go to window and click record voiceover and a pop up will come up here and you'll be able to click that and record a voiceover and then it will play. So for instance, let's try to do this. Hey guys, this is my Hawaii vlog. You can pause that and now it's right here. If you are wanting to actually edit any sort of audio, so for instance on this clip, if I didn't want any audio, I can go down here and you'll notice that if I hover over this line, you're able to adjust the volume down to zero or if maybe your clip is too quiet, you can increase the volume here. So I'm looking at this clip and I really want the pineapples to stand out. So what I can do is select on that and then you can go to this tool here, which is the color corrector. Over here, you have the adjustment of the shadows. You have the adjustment of the contrast. You have the brightness and the contrast for the light and dark area. So this would be light, this would be dark. And then finally, you have the highlights here. So if you, if you look at your clip and say, you know what? Right now I'm looking at this and I, the highlights are okay. I do want to add a little bit of shadow in here. So if I drag this down, it kind of adds a little bit of shadow. Here again is the contrast. So if you want to get a little bit more contrast or if you wanted to decrease the contrast, you could do that. And then in here we can adjust anything here, okay? Next is the actual color. So this is going to be your saturation. So I'm going to increase the saturation just a tad. And then over here is the 
temperature. So if you wanted it to be a cooler tone, so it has more blues in it, you can um, drag it to the left. If you want it to be a little bit more warm, a little bit more vintage looking, you can drag to the right. Another thing I wanted to mention is how to add any sort of audio effects. So you'll see a lot of YouTubers when something pops up in their video, they have an audio effect. You can go up here into audio and I am movie comes with a ton of different sounds so you might notice a lot of them but if you actually wanted to import a sound all you have to do is go to youtube and search whatever kind of sound you want so maybe like a pop-up sound okay and say that you wanted to download that just copy this and click or and search video to mp3 paste this and then convert it and it's going to go actually into your downloads Okay, so now I have that downloaded and I want to have it pop when the Hawaii vlog comes up. So I'm going to go into Finder and I'm going to find that sound effect. Okay, so here's the sound effect. I'm just going to drag this over top and drop it here. You can see this peak is actually where the sound is. So what you can do is you can drag this to kind of isolate it and then move this over for whatever you need the pop. So let's play it. Okay, so it's a little bit too soon. Drag it over a little bit. So it's a little late now. So I'm gonna zoom in so that I can get the best area here. A little late again. Okay, and that is how you add any sort of sound effect. You can do the same thing for any sort of song. You can import it from iTunes here or you can download from YouTube. Just make sure that it is copyright free. Now to actually export your video, you're going to go to file, you're going to go to share, and you're going to click file. And then you can go ahead and export this as whatever you want and then upload it to YouTube. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. If you did, let me know down below in the comments. If you're having any sort of issue with iMovie, I have a ton of experience. I might be able to figure it out for you. Make sure to comment it down below and I'll do my best to respond. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.